Okay, moving on to part C. Um, we've got this equation that uh, some student came up with, and I'm going to go ahead for the electric field. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. E, come on, E as a function of R is A times B minus R, B minus R, okay, where A equals 4 volts per meter squared, and B equals 5 meters. Let's just get that. Okay, so uh, great. Okay, so now what they want to know basically is they want that this is what this student thinks might be the case with the electric field. And so uh, what they want to know is uh, state one feature of this equation that correctly models the electric field within the hole. Justify your answer. So um, the features to look for are the first thing I would look for is zeros, okay? So I'm going to look at, nope, not like that. Let's see. There we go. So I'm going to look at E equals zero, question mark, okay? Where does that happen? Well, that happens when uh, A times B minus R equals zero, which means that happens when B minus R equals zero, or when R equals B, which is five meters, okay? So this equation they gave us, this equation here tells us that r equals 5 meters gives us e equals 0. Now, what is, how do you get the electric field from voltage? You get e equals negative dv dr here, okay? I went over this in the last solution. I said dv dx first, but you remember, okay? Um, so at what points are the slopes here 0? Well, here's a point where the slope is 0, right? So this is where e equals 0, okay? Here's another spot where E equals zero, and not up there, okay? So uh, this, is, this is the easiest thing because, because look, here's a spot where the, the derivative of voltage with respect to R is zero, and this is a spot where the equation says uh, equals zero. So the answer to part C is uh, one feature of this equation. Uh, so you can say at R equals five meters, X, or sorry, not X, uh, E, equals zero, which matches uh, the uh, dv dr equals zero on the plot, okay? And that is a feature of the equation, okay? It's been justified. Um, so that's... Okay. In my opinion, that's the easiest one to go for, okay? Now, um, part C, or sorry, part D is state one feature of this equation that does not correctly model the electric field within the hole. Justify your answer. So probably the easiest thing to do is say, look, this, uh, this voltage here has two uh, points where the electric field is zero, right? It has this one here, which we did in part C, and also has this one here. I'm doing it in green now, okay? And a line, this equation here, this E equals A times B minus R, this is a linear equation, right? This is actually E equals AB minus, or sorry, A capital B minus, uh, let me just, AB minus AR, okay? And this is linear in R. And right away we know a linear equation is only going to have one zero, okay? You plot a line, it can't intersect zero at more than one point, unless the line is actually on zero, in which case it intersects an infinite number of points, but that's clearly not the case here. So um, uh, you could basically, if you wanted to uh, say, you know, uh, E uh, at R equals 10 meters, if you wanted to figure it out, you could, is equal to 4 volts per square meter, uh, that's our A times 5 meters minus 10 meters, okay, equals, uh, so that's going to be 5 minus 10 is going to be negative 5 meters, and they're going to do that, so you're going to have negative 20 volts per meter. And so E, let me just write this again, E at R equals 10 meters is negative 20 volts per meter, which is not equal to zero. And this is what dv dr, or I should say negative dv dr at r equals 10 meters is this, okay? So uh, probably
probably you could answer this for part D, and I think uh, be pretty well justified. Okay, by say, saying that there's a there's a zero uh, in the electric field from the voltage block clearly, but equally clearly there's not a zero from uh, the electric field. Okay, or from sorry from this this linearized electric field equation they give you. Okay, so that's uh, that's the easiest answer. You could also say you could um, you could you know if you wanted to you could for example uh, calculate it at some other point. Okay, calculate it at a point far from here. So we know that at this point it models the electric field pretty well, um, and it stands to reason that this is sort of a simplified equation. It's probably going to model the electric field well near that point, and the further away you get, the less well it models the electric field. So maybe you could try saying, hey, what's the electric field going to be at uh, r equals zero, okay? And that's going to equal four volts per square meter, okay, times, uh, that's going to be five meters minus zero, which is going to be plus 20 volts per meter, okay? Now, what is the electric field here? And you could go and basically do a line and do a tangent line there and show, is that tangent? Maybe, okay. Um, whoops, sorry. Uh, tangent uh, there at, I don't know why I said there, at uh, r equals zero. Uh, so e equals negative dv dr is approximately then, uh, so it looks here like basically we're going down one, uh, 10 volts for every meter if you look at this line. So you're gonna, so your slope is gonna be negative 10 volts per meter. So uh, you could say E at R equals zero equals 20 volts per meter, which is not equal to 10 volts per meter, okay? Uh, so, you know, this this is all, I th this is another possible answer for D, okay? Uh, negative dV dr, okay? I'm, I'm trying to sort of show this, okay? I would probably write it up a little more like that, uh, a little bit neater, but I think the easiest spot is here where the, the slope is clearly zero, okay? Um, Basically, just finding another point where it doesn't match up well. Okay, uh, I think I think at e, sorry, at r equals ten meters is by far the easiest one to find. But you could do it at r equals zero. Um, you could probably do it at a lot of different spots around here. Okay, but um, it's easiest to do it far from the point where you know it works. And the point where you know it works is what we had in part C. Okay, I think that's enough for that one. So I will do part E in yet another video. Let's see if I can.